Hello, hello, Libra. How are you doing? We're going to have a little bit of fun with tarot today, Libra. We're going to be seeing with the tarot cards what person is coming towards you right now. Who is coming towards you right now, Libra? So with this, how this is going to go down, darling, is I'm going to be pulling some cards. I'm going to be describing the kind of feeling, the situation that I'm getting. And so then it's up to you, my beautiful Libra, to decide how this correlates in your situation. This could be a past X energy for some of you guys. This could be someone completely new coming into your life, right? This could be a situation where you had a little bit of a tiff or a conversation with someone that, you know, kind of fizzled out and you just don't want to hear about what their perspective is, right? Because keep in mind, this is a, a simple simply just a perspective honey right with some tarot cards it's impossible to really get all the uh, nuances and the facets of a human being's mind but we can kind of get an idea right so let's get into this reading today for you libra let's see who is coming towards you what is coming towards you right now <clears throat> let's see here i just start i was playing with my cat off camera darling and i think she left some fur on me. <laughs> Libra, let's get into this. So we have the King of Wands, powerful energy. This could be someone, this could definitely be a fire sign for some of you guys. Um, I do feel like, and normally I don't kind of feed into this narrative, Libra, but whenever I see the King of Wands, I just felt instantly extremely gra uh, gravitated towards this individual. So I do feel strongly this is someone uh, we're dealing with someone, Libra, that has a little bit more fire in their chart, someone that functions off a little bit more passion, right? Whenever you think about the King of Wands, Libra, this is someone who is very assertive, very much so is able to identify what it is that they want, but not only be able to identify it, Libra, they're able to take action on it. This is someone who normally, you know, they would be kind of, I would say they're mistaken to be uh, short-tempered, but I don't see it in this way. I see the King of Wands as someone who just whatever emotions that they're feeling, Libra, they just feel them really strongly. So if they're feeling very, you know, if they love somebody, they're going to feel that love very strongly. If they're angry or upset, they're going to feel that emotion very strongly, right? But overall, this is someone I'm being, I am just, I just heard the word heart of gold, Libra. I am seeing someone this, that has some good intentions at least, right? Someone that, uh, you know, this is, keep in mind, Libra, I'm a biased person. Whenever I see someone that has any type of passion, honey, I eat it up with a spoon, darling. I'm just like, mm, yes, give it to me. So, like, <laughs> someone that's passionate, that's my weak point, right? Anything else could be wrong with them, but it's just like, oh, honey, you got passion? You got passion just being, you know, you, you're you passionate about not having a job? Okay, I can appreciate No, I can't, but... <laughs> We have the bat spirit coming in here, five, number five for numerology. A rebirth is assured. So definitely we're going to be pulling some clarifiers on this, Libra, but I am getting the signification that this is something almost as a sense of either this individual Libra recently has gone through their own, um, we'll say like coming of age, some type of development, uh, you know, stage with themselves. They've kind of like upgraded in this sense and just due to back, lack of a better wording I can think of right now, Libra. Or this could be a situation here of someone that's, you know, you haven't really had conversation with, but, you know, the time apart that you two have had, um, it's through this development, you know, through that distance, rather, uh, they've kind of been able to think things through and just go through their own character development, darling. So uh, let's get some clarifiers. We're going to use this deck today for you, Libra. Um, so let's see what depth we can get when it comes to this reading. The cards are already flying, Libra. What's going on? All right. So we have the Seven of Swords coming in. All right, darling. The World card, as well as the, the Messenger. All right. So Libra. This is someone who, I want to almost say they kind of have like a... The, whatever situation that they were dealing with, Libra, this is someone that I would say recently got over a breakup, right? Yeah. Recently, and this doesn't have to be like in a romantic sense. This could be recently they just stopped being friends um, with somebody, right? I do feel as if, Libra, this person kind of had a rough ending with something. This could be you, darling, right? This could be me tapping into like a fight y'all just had beforehand, right? But I'm seeing this as a situation where there's some type of distrustful energy with the Seven of Swords here. With the Seven of Swords, this is someone who feels just on edge right now. The World card coming in with the Messenger card as well comes in as this sense of where almost as if like they felt as if truths weren't being spoken um this sense where they 
they're kind of, it's almost as if Libra, like they experience someone who is just like manipulative, we'll just say as an example. And so now this is, they're functioning from this place of being like, all right, I don't want to have anyone that's exuding this type of red flag anymore. Five of wands coming in here in the reverse. So this is coming to me, Libra, as someone, well, yes, we have that king of wands energy that we were talking about, darling, but... Um, where they're just very passionate and just very, they experience their emotions just very powerfully, darling. Um, this is someone who, like, the next, they're going in with the intention of not really having, they want an easy connection, basically, Libra. They want something to be easy. They, you know, they don't want any, they don't want to, there to be any type of complications or even if there were complications in the past with you two, Libra, um, just because I just, especially with this bat card, right, with the rebirth, it's almost this sense of like, can we just start anew again? Can we start fresh? Can we start over with this? Can we see maybe if we can continue this connection without all this stress, without all this drama? I'm only speaking this way as if someone, um, as if some of you Libras have already interacted with this person, but if it's someone completely new, this is someone that just, you know, stress, drama is like, something they're completely going to repel knight of cups so this is normally i would say for a lot of you libras this is an energy coming in this is you know the knight of cups comes in as like an offering of love right so this is where i'm going to really nail into the narrative of this message now if this is still someone libra obviously you would know um if this is someone that already is irrelevant in your life and you guys just beforehand like previously in your last connection just fought or whatever um, right then this person is coming back in right but i do feel like for most of you libras this is someone new coming in um it shows to me where it's almost like there's this fly honey that is, i cannot get out of my room um <laughs> it's coming in as this person just who's ready for love ready for a deep connection ready to offer it as well you know this knight of cups is matching that knight of wands energy very powerfully just because this is you know as i was saying before libra whatever this person feels um i feel like i called this the knight of wands i meant the king of wands of course um whatever this person feels whether it's love whether it's anger whatever they feel it extremely and because of the knight of wands they're all about action so it's almost this sense of where you don't really have to play a guessing game libra so in order to help some of you libras try to decipher who this is about if this is someone that you already know this is not going to be someone that you have to play a guessing game with right this is not someone that you're going to have to worry about some type of mind games with and being like oh do they actually like me? Are they just too shy to talk about it? Darling, this energy that we're, I'm tapping into at least is not someone who's shy about it because it's like they know what it is that they want because they dealt with all this other drama before. This is really what it is that they're trying to repel Libra is the drama, right? They really want to have that open communication, right? With this messenger, this is the emphasis. This is in the um, uh, their crown chakra. I know y'all can't see the spread, but <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to explain my thought process. The, the messenger card is right at the uh, positioned in the crown chakra. So it's showing to me, yeah, just someone who's deeply ready to connect. Libra. So let's get a couple more cards here. We have the Knight of Wands coming in here right after the Knight of Cups pairing this. So Libra, this and this connection is coming in extremely quick. This is also just an energy naturally, Libra, again, of someone who is going to take action. So if any, if you're considering someone in your life that this could be about where, you know, you have to play that guessing game, darling, or they're just very much so like not about to like speak, to, you know, this is not about them right this is what this energy here this is someone that sees what it is that they want and they're going to go after it right and they're only going they only feel this way so much because they're just ready for something deeper because they've they, they've gone through their own coming of age they've gone through their own character development and they're just now at a stage in their life Libra, where they're just craving something of substance right and it's because of this strong craving of substance match with their fiery personality. I really do feel strongly, Libra. It's a fire sign. I feel like fire signs, Libras, always kind of gravitate towards you and vice versa. Yeah, we have the chariot card coming in here, uh, Libra. So yeah, this is full speed ahead, darling. All this energy here, this is someone, Libra, who is full speed ahead. Someone who, the moment they identify 
their person, the moment they see something that they want and want to connect with, this is going to be someone who immediately goes after. Like, can we take a moment to appreciate two different knights, right? And those two different knights topping it off with a chariot card, darling, right? Can we just read? I always kind of always, I, how many times can I say always? I consider like the knight of wands kind of like a mini version of the chariot in terms of like the energy. Um, so it's beautiful, like this very fiery, like fast forward moving energy, but it's very much so coming in with a message of like an offering of love, an offering of emotion, Libra. This is beautiful. This is very, very, very beautiful, very powerful, Libra. So um, let's do a couple more Oracle cards. I just feel drawn to use some Oracle. We have here the Polar Bear card. Stand up for yourself and speak your truth respectfully and compassionately with no attachment to the outcome. So Libra, this is your time right now. Because this person's out here, right? They're looking actively. I see this as. And so what you need to be doing, Libra, is to be your most authentic self if you're going to try to attract this connection to come through. You need to really speak your mind. This is going to be someone, remember, Libra, they have that messenger card. Someone that's going to really appreciate that authenticity. Someone that's going to really appreciate you verbalizing um, your thoughts, your feelings, right? So really have yourself be seen right now. Have speak your truth at, right now because that's going to be how you attract this person, right? I forget where I know the quote from, but it's there's a quote that goes something along the lines of like, your vibe attracts your tribe. It's in that same concept here, Libra. It's like, if you're trying to attract your tribe right now, darling, trying to really attract this, right? All you have to do is kind of like make yourself be seen, right? Because the moment you make yourself be seen, I see this person charging right in and going in for the kill. The obviously not for like, right maybe not good new moon in gemini communication is key so heavy emphasis on communication in general that's the kind of this entire thing libra is open communication with this so anyone that you have suspicions that this is about still libra that you already know communicate with them right this is going to be someone that's going to be completely transparent with their feelings darling i'm trying to really help you libra because i'm not trying to have a libra trying to sink energy into a chance that's already dead end you'll be able to identify the connection by these attributes i hope this helps libra but um yeah darling that is the reading that i have for you if you enjoyed this uh reading for you libra be sure to check out your weekly horoscope i do them every single week i'll leave a link to your latest one up here somewhere darling um if you enjoyed this reading darling my website is simply velka i have it linked down below along with my social medias um tiktok instagram everything is just simply velka and yeah i hope i can connect with you sometime in the near future libra good luck